Titane is a new film from the incredibly talented director of Raw. This film won big at the Cannes Film Festival this year, and a lot of people have been talking about it for various reasons. I went in knowing basically one thing, that the film had cars and violence and sex, and that they were all kind of intertwined, and that's all I knew. The plot of the movie is a lot more complex than that, and there's certainly a lot more things happening, so if you really don't want to know a single thing about Titane, I'm going to just talk about the basic plot. And it's a strange thing to warn you of that, because most movies you just kind of know the essential plot. But not everybody wants to know everything about this movie, and some secrets have been kept fairly well. So just as a warning, if you don't want to know anything about the film beyond what I just said, I'm going to talk about the plot. We meet a dancer named Alexia who has sex with a car and finds herself pregnant. Interesting. Quite the interesting development. And then she starts killing people a lot. Some folks who actually do bad things to her and it's viewed as sort of a retaliation. And then there's a bunch of innocent people who didn't do anything who also get killed. And you could essentially call her a serial killer. And that's how the movie begins. And you're like, wow, this is our lead. This is who we're following. And I was extremely excited by that. I love the notion of a character that's very difficult to redeem. And we're going to follow this person. It's very Henry portrait of a serial killer. You're watching a character who clearly is not a good person, but maybe there's one or two things about them that you can suddenly relate to, which happens later. And that challenges you as an audience member, and this film is challenging. It's uh, also really good and very, very weird. In some ways, there's two different movies happening here. There's a film about a woman who's been impregnated by a car and is clearly going to give birth very soon. It's not a very long pregnancy. Her belly's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But she's also a serial killer and she's on the run, so she has to find a place to hide. Tough to relate to her. Somehow, though, the film pulls it off because you are in this woman's world and you experience her pain and whatever this thing is that she's dealing with on such a visceral level that it makes her, at the very least, fascinating. And that's where a film like this, I think, can get away with a character that most people would say is irredeemable. Because then the audience is going to want to watch them do things, regardless if they relate to it on a moral level. And it creates a lot of very challenging questions as you watch the film. Now, I struggled with one thing for a while until I realized there was no point in struggling with it anymore. And that's that I was waiting for logic to dictate what's going on. I was hoping for perhaps an explanation or at least an emotional reason for why she does the things she does. There's an opening scene with her as a child and she's involved in a car crash and gets a titanium plate put in her head. And she seems to hate her father, but there isn't exactly a, a confirmation that he's a terrible person. You could fill in that information perhaps, but it's not really confirmed. So the idea of her being the way she is as an adult can sometimes be a little confusing and you don't necessarily get that logic you're waiting for that explanation but this movie is not interested in logic she's pregnant by a car you're not going to get answers necessarily it just has to emotionally click and i would say for the most part it does there were aspects of the genre element the car pregnancy that at times i thought actually butted up against the more human drama because it is a very grounded human drama in the end about relationships and love and fatherhood and insecurity about getting old and your body breaking down and the movie is all those things but it has this genre element this body horror element to it and at times i actually don't know if the movie needed it but it certainly is the reason the film is getting talked about as much as it is so I guess that helps. I also found the lead performance by Agatha Roselle, and as usual, I apologize if I said her name incorrectly, very, very good. Believe it or not, this is her first film. She apparently was found on Instagram. Uh, insanely great first performance, really, really traumatizing, and there were scenes that actually did bother me. Um, nothing that I couldn't look at, but there was definitely like a, oh God, like a, a few times, you know, it was just ugh, like just nasty. And uh, I love that. I love that the film made that reaction in me genuine. You don't get that too much. If you like films that are very bizarre and don't necessarily explain why they're so strange, but have incredible imagery and performances and a lot of implications, 
then I would suggest seeing Titane in theaters if you still can. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching, but I also want to give a big thank you to the sponsor for this video, Noom. Noom is a consumer-led digital health platform. As a leading expert in behavior change, Noom leverages a powerful combination of human coaches, psychology, and science to empower people to take control of their own health. Health doesn't happen at the doctor's office. Health starts with you at home. Noom recognizes that there's more to living a healthy life than being a healthy weight. That's why weight management is just the beginning for Noom. And in my case, Noom has helped me with behavior changes that have led to a more healthy life. And my favorite thing about Noom by far is that they use humor quite often when they're trying to explain ways that you can do behavior changes in your life to be healthier. Their guidelines and their pointers do not talk down to you. They don't talk to you as if they're better than you or that they understand things more than you. It's written in a way that communicates to you as a person on a human level. Because of that humor and because of that human interaction, it was a lot easier and even fun for me to settle into how Noom works and incorporate it into my life. So please click the link in the description to take your free Noom evaluation. It's quick, it's easy, and they will help you create your own custom plan. So thank you guys so much as always for watching and thank you to Noom for sponsoring this video. As always, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.